this is Klingon for welcome to this latest episode of todebate.net with Dirk, my co-host. He's here. He's cracking his ass off. And me, Sebastian. <laughs> yes, you have something Sound- to say already. You can't wait to get started. I can see that. You're jumping on your seat. It sounded more like parsley. You know, the, the snake language that Harry Potter is using. I think it was parsley. <laughs> the, who's using what? Yeah, what Harry Potter is, uh, is able to talk to snakes. And for that, he's using snake language for. And that's precisely what your... your impersonation of Kling and Hello reminded me of. <laughs> well, you, clearly you have a very, very deep cultural references, which I don't have. And I think this will be the point of our debate today, because we're debating today on the following motion, which is Star Wars is overrated. I will be defending that motion. And I'm against it, of course. Of and you're against that, of course. <laughs> Star Wars is not overrated, according to you. And we'll get started right away with two minutes for me defending the motion. Star Wars is overrated. The fun thing is we talked about Star Wars and used Klingon, which is, uh, well, Star Trek. I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, 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 fun, uh, the, the fun thing is uh, I can have so much uh, joy in cutting the things together. So we both sound like <laughs> idiots in the end. <laughs> <laughs> You can do that for any <laughs> any debate we have anyway. So Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Sebastian goes first and argues for the motion. A speaking robot, a hairy gorilla looking thingy, a father who has last minute remorse, a green blob who shares his wisdom. Seriously, seriously, this is what we're swearing about these days. No, come on. Everyone knows that Star Trek is way better. Studies have shown that fans of Star Trek are happier, more intelligent, and live longer than fans of Star Wars. So why could you even imagine defending Star Wars? I don't really get that. But seriously, Star Wars is just a fad. Yes, it's a long-lasting marketing thingy for sure. But it's slowly dying, it's slowly disappearing, and it's way overrated today. Just look at the latest film, which was, according to the ratings, a disaster from what I read. Even I, who have seen all Star Wars films, and I'm not a huge fan, but I'm I'm aware of uh, of the various films, I have not gone to see the latest film. Have you, Doug? You probably have. You're a hardcore fan. And come on. Be, be fair. I am sure it was terrible. Also, it's clearly a commercial business thing. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the Lucasfilms was sold to Disney. So clearly that was a business, right? For a billion dollars or something like this. And you have tons of other examples of business adventures like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. So all of this is just for money. And people are just blindly defending it without any much attention to the fact that it's a waste of time. You have way better stories, way better video effects nowadays. And it's maybe interesting from a historical perspective on seeing how crappy it was to do video effects at the time. But come on, there's way better things to watch today. And I have way many more arguments, which I'll share afterwards. So yes, Star Wars is overrated. And now on to Dirk. Thank God we are in the age of Star Wars and Star Trek and not in the age of Shakespeare, because you would have made an argument that having plays uh, where where two loved ones uh, are dying of suicide in the end are just a waste of your time. Thankfully, people after Shakespeare had to decide whether or not he was overrated or not overrated. And the same is true for Star Wars. Star Wars changed the game in the whole movie industry. George Lucas practically invented like two-thirds of the special effects and uh, filmmaking characteristics we see today. George Lucas also proved that there is a system to storytelling that is uh, very compelling and very successful uh, called The Hero's Quest, which he followed in his movies, which was landing in the middle of pop culture and in the middle of our storytelling. So it's hugely influential. Of course, Star Wars has all those stereotypes that you mentioned, the battles and good versus evil and magic thinking and all that. And in that, it's escapism. It's like providing people an outlet to escape the world into a fairy tale. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. And why it is significant and why it is important can be seen in all the memes, all the pop culture references, all the scientific names that actually come from Star Wars. There are asteroids named after Star Wars characters, for heaven's sake. There are bacteria that are named after Star Wars characters. So Star Wars is uh, relevant everywhere. So at least you have to be knowledgeable. You cannot go around Star Wars. It's actually very hard to really overrate the significance of the Star Wars franchise, the Star Wars movies, and the Star Wars games. Now it's Sebastian's turn. Let's hear his rebuttal. I agree with you. Yes, in its time, it was groundbreaking, but that was 30, 40 years ago. We live in 2017. And as I mentioned, the last film was a disaster. In fact, I would even say the, the one before the, the last film was also quite laughable in the sense that it was uh, this ridiculous attempt to introduce new characters represent, represented by minorities. And the reason why I say it's laughable, it's not because it's not good to have minorities represented in the cinema industry. It's just that everything in the film, the, the, the franchise is already simplistic. Yoda is this green wise thingy. He's old, right? So the, the old thing is wise. The bad guys, they're ugly, right? The good guys, they're good looking, right? It's already so simplistic, but I'll get back to this. Um, so yes, it is. It was great in its time, but now it's gone. It's like, let's move on. Let's go to some else. In fact, I would say there's more value in analyzing other films for their cinematographic or aesthetic aspects rather than examining Star Wars. Also, I would say it's a waste of time because I think you're better off reading the Quran, for instance, to understand others and how the world works than to understanding bad and good and evil and uh, good things in Star Wars. Now, you also mentioned Romeo and Juliet. Well, yeah, it's actually pretty overrated, I would say. It's not even just at the time. I mean, look at the story of Romeo and Juliet. You want to fight on this? Fine, I will fight you on Romeo and Juliet, right? These guys are teenagers, and they end up killing themselves because they just have you know misinformation. So if they had email or whatever, WhatsApp, they would not have killed themselves. So yes, it's completely overrated and completely inconsistent. Like this story of love, of killing yourself when you're not even an adult. Anyway, let's not, let's not go into the details. But I have other points here. And I think this additional point I have is it's not only overrated, it's actually dangerous. I'm going to tell you why Star Wars is dangerous and sexist, right? Han Solo, I can't remember the scene exactly, and I could not find it when I was doing my research. At some point, kisses some woman, right? He forces to kiss some Leia, woman. Leia, you may have a sake. Princess Leia. Leia. Okay, okay, some princess. <laughs> you know better. Now, the way he does it, if you review the scene from what I, uh, the analysis I remember, he forces himself onto her, right? She says no. And then suddenly, because he forces himself onto her, she loves him. Right, It's like a completely sexist, dangerous way of representing love, which is exactly just Romeo and Juliet, just as stupid and silly. So yes, I'm saying Shakespeare and Star Wars are overrated. We should move on to something else, to something better, to something more modern. Thank you very much. Star Wars is overrated. Now it's Dirk's turn. Let's hear his argument. Now we got it on tape. Shakespeare is overrated. But guess what? You cannot think modern literature and modern movies without looking at Shakespeare. So uh, no matter if you, if you don't like Romeo and Juliet, if you think he's overrated, if you think Romeo and Juliet is overrated, doesn't matter because he had impact and because he changed the world for the better, for the worse. Uh, he, he changed narratives that we follow today and so did Star Wars. Yes, there is quite some bad stereotyping in Star Wars. Yes, there is not uh, the, the height of uh, the intelligent writing industry at work in Star Wars script but still they influence everything from storytelling to movies to how we communicate with each other because even even though you don't know who princess leia and uh, a wookie and han solo really are you clearly have no idea how many times you use even figures of speech that are out of that movie very much like you use figures of speech coming from goethe or shakespeare or whoever now i'm not saying star wars is on the same level like goethe or shakespeare but it's 
hard really to to overrate it uh, if you look from a cultural impact now the next is um, star wars being such a dominant franchise it gives you a chance to really have a conversation with your daughter for instance about why actually han solo acts like an asshole and totally sexist in contrast to how modern movies and modern parts of star wars deal with the issue so rogue one um, had a complete different setup in terms of cast and the main character was a woman which was the hero um, and it was a pretty well made good movie it was entertaining much more entertaining than much of the crap that we've seen before so I reiterate my point. Star Wars is very influential. Whether I like it or not, it changes how we speak, how we tell stories, how we behave and how we agree or disagree with it. So um, you may dislike it, but it's impactful and impact is all that really matters when it comes to the value of the, the, the whole story. And don't you want to rescue a princess with your laser sword? Come on. <laughs> Final statements. Sebastian goes first. As Yoda said, fear of considering Star Wars as overrated is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering. So train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Yes, Star Wars is overrated. And I appreciate, Dirk, the way that you try to trick me into saying Shakespeare's is overrated and comparing Shakespeare to Star Wars. I, I am sure everyone will agree it's to the same level, to the same degree of advanced thinking and scenario and use of language. Death is a natural part of life. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the force. Mourn them, do not. Miss them, do not. Attachment leads to jealousy, the shadow of greed that is. So yes, let go. It's okay. Star Wars is overrated. Let it die. It's a disaster anyway nowadays. It's just money. You can do better things. You can move on to other things. Dirk. Let's hear it. Yes, indeed, I'm comparing to Shakespeare. You know what? Because Shakespeare at his time did plays for the common people. So people walked into a theater to be entertained. And it was sex, drugs and rock and roll on stage. That was Shakespeare provided. And in that, Shakespeare proved to have such a good hand for archetypes, storytelling, and cultural memes. That's why he became immortal and why his stories became immortal and why no one with his brain and his mind can argue that, I don't know, Hamlet, a lot about uh, to do about nothing or whatever you, you pick is overrated. It's not. It's impactful. It's relevant. And I hope our audience joins me in that. Star Wars is indeed an icon. It's a piece of culture that will be around in hundreds of years. Now the listeners should go to the web page and agree with me by a click of a button. Do or do not. There is no try. I have a Star Wars quote as well. <laughs> uh, that's, that's cheap. That's too easy. You cannot, you cannot quote Star Wars. Otherwise, you're going to make it overrated. I can't because I say it's gone. Okay. Thank you for listening. That was a debate for the day on Star Wars. It was a very serious debate. You can, as Dirk mentioned, you can go and vote on the website. You can also leave a rating on iTunes. You can continue the conversation on our, on our website to debate.net uh, in the comment section of each debate. So thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned. I have one more for the Americans in our audience. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of a dark lord of the Sith? <laughs> <laughs> We will have the debate on Trump another time, Doug. You don't have to put everything in one episode. It's okay. But we can use Star Wars quotes. May hey, you know what we should do? We should have a motion and only use quotes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. It was great Thank fun you. having that debate with you, Sebastian. Likewise. Bye.
I should should learn to at least do that riff on uh, guitar. Do you play guitar? No. My <laughs> my son plays. <laughs> I have a What's wonderful said? singing voice. Oh, voice voice is enough. Do you sing? No. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I just know that. If I would sing, it would be wonderful, don't you think? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know because I've, I wished I, I, I could sing, but it's terrible. I can't even stand my own voice, so... You know, maybe we should try that sometime, record that, you know? Near, far, wherever you are. See, 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 see? I listen to that wonderful voice of mine. Why don't we do the debate just in singing? <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, our musical episode. Every every good every good musical show debate. does a musical episode sometime, right? There is a Klingon language institute. Can you believe that? I I can believe that indeed. It's like you gotta you gotta admire the internet. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. I can say happy birthday now. Happy birthday. You already had your birthday. You have way better arguments to show afterwards. Boo, no, now I'm scared. I, actually, I don't have better. I have more. But I actually don't have way more. I just realized. <laughs> I just said no to my thing just now. <laughs> Shoot. I just have two left. No, three, three, three. I got three left. Try this. <laughs> I've got Darth Vader supporting me. I think he's on my side. He knows and you it's look overrated. almost like him. Yeah, I look. Um, hey, wait a second. You haven't seen everything. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm not sure what you're wearing, but it looks like you're preparing for the next Ebola outbreak in Switzerland. No, no, you're not reading. No, 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 no. We cannot, we cannot really understand you through that mask. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that? It was a, a snorkeling mask. That was pretty Dadaistic. Dadaistic? Oh, I thought idealistic. No, Dadaistic. <laughs> no, I was just quoting Star Wars. I know, so. I know, I know those quotes. You had to read them, but you know I them, know them really? by art. I had to read them indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just searched for them just right now because I thought, okay, I need to improvise something. Oh.